assalamu alaikum dear students and welcome back to learn daily physics so previously on in our topic the we have done previous levels of ensembles we have discussed micro canonical ensemble canonical ensemble and grand canonical ensemble so you have understand what a canonical ensemble is and it, uh, what uh, ensemble is so today i will elaborate you more in general way that what ensemble is what a system is then what ensemble is what canonical ensemble is then we will talk about the probability of a canonical ensemble and then we move on to the partition function and we will drive all the state function in our next lectures so let's talk about and a system first okay i've already told you what a system is but today i will tell you more fun way okay i will tell you in the fun way today so a system is let's say a kind of dish a system is some kind of dish let's say rice is a system okay this rice uh, eating rice a dish this is a dish and it is a system okay so we have a filled container you can say full full of this rice okay so if this rice and we have a t first we have a t inside a thermos you know what a thermos is and you fill some t a hot material inside of a t this is a thermos let's say let's make a kettle a thermos like this it will be like this okay and it is full of t okay it is full of t it's full of t and now another we have thing is a rice filled with rice okay and another again we have rice this rice is placed inside a home and this rice is placed at some public spot anybody can access here and eat and go okay so the thing what i am trying to say is ke a ye jo cheez hai na ye aa jadi cheez hai ye dega ek agar punjabi ch kaho ta eh dega ek te eh jadi hai chauk ch payi hai theek ke ye wo deg hai jo chauk mein padi hai this is a dish this is a dish which is placed at some public stop okay so anybody can come access eat and go khai jao te langi jao ye wo wali deg hai theek hai ये है कि घर में अभी बन चुकी है इट इज़ अ डिश प्रेजेंट एट होम एंड नो बडी हैव एक्सेस यर सो एंड दिस इज अ टी इट ये चाय है थर्मस के अंदर ओके दिस इज अ टी फील्ड इन साइड थर्मस ओके अब जो है नाउ दिस इज माइक्रो कैनोनिकल एंसेम्बल ओके दिस इज कैनोनिकल एंसेम्बल कैनोनिकल एंसेम्बल and uh, this is grand canonical ensemble okay how they are let's try to understand that this is a system this whole is a system and uh, let's say that you want to taste your tea whether the sugar is less or not uh, whether it's in excess or not uh, whatever the thing it is but you want to taste it okay so the thing what you will do is you will take one spoon or you will sip uh, only some few sips and you will know that this tea is have excess excess sugar or not so i was telling you that these material which are under study anything under observation is a system this tea is a system this rice and this are system but when you want to taste your tea or when you want to taste your rice is uh, they are overcooked rice is are over rice are overcooked or uh, they have uh, ex extra 
salt you can say uh, salt is in excess or uh, you have uh, you put some less you want to taste it what will you do you will take some some eat uh, one spoon or two spoon of that rice from this container let's say okay and you will say that uh, its taste taste is good or bad ki aapne ye agar chawal की देग में से चावल को चखना है वो कैसे हैं तो आप क्या करेंगे कि एक या दो चम्मच खाएंगे उसमें से लेके आपने चाय चखनी है तो क्या करेंगे एक या दो उसके घूंट भरेंगे आपको पता चल जाएगा कि वो चाय फीकी है मीठी है तो खट्टी है क्या है कड़वी है जो भी है आपको उसकी स्टेट्स का पता चल जाएगा ठीक ऐसे नहीं होगा कि आप सारे का सारा जो है वो सिस्टम ही खा जाए ठीक it won't happen that you will eat all of that all of that system you will take some spoons of rice and you will eat and you will say that uh, uh, how it's taste good or bad okay so this is what we say an ensemble is you've took two spoons and that those two or one spoon was ensemble this was the system okay this was the whole system and i told you this is a micro canonical system this is canonical system and this is grand canonical uh, ensembles this is micro canonical ensemble canonical ensemble and grand canonical ensemble how these are micro and let's see that this is a t let's first talk about micro canonical ensemble because i want you to make everything clear in your mind so let's talk about micro canonical ensemble okay so i've told you that we have a thermos full of tea okay you know that it is insulated from outside to make it that when you place a hot material inside of it it won't get cold okay so we have an isolation and isolation around it okay so in energy can't heat cannot escape from here okay and we know that energy we can write energy is a form heat is a form of energy so when heat can't escape from this thermos ki ye chai ka thermos hai isme se heat jab nahi nikal sakti to matlab isme se aapki energy nahi nikal sakti jab energy when energy is conserved okay then we have a micro canonical ensemble in my previous lecture i have told you that okay so this is this was the micro canonical ensemble let's talk about canonical ensemble canonical ensemble for the canonical ensemble i told you that you have a container filled with rice eating, eating rice and uh, this rice is placed inside of the house and your mother is saying that nobody can eat till 8 pm okay or or till 8 o'clock okay nobody can eat th these rices till 8 it will be a canonical ensemble after that it will be grand canonical ensemble how so till it nobody can eat but rices are still getting cold okay so your mother cooked rices at 5 o clock and uh, they were so hot after some time till 8 they get cold and when they get cool where does the heat go heat escaped from the system okay this d q escaped from the system and heat is a form of energy which means that energy escaped from the system theek okay? कि ये जो चावल ठंडे हो गए इससे हमें पता ये चला कि हमारी एनर्जी निकल गई और जब एनर्जी कंजर्व नहीं रहती व्हेन एनर्जी इज नॉट कंजर्व सो वी हैव कैनोनिकल एंसेंबल नाउ फॉर द ग्रैंड कैनोनिकल एंसेंबल सेम कंटेनर ऑफ राइस इज बट आफ्टर एट ओ क्लॉक ओके दिस इज द सेम कंटेनर बट आफ्टर एट ओ क्लॉक सो आफ्टर एट ओ क्लॉक your brother will come he will take some and number of rices will gradually decrease from here to here then here and at the end it will finish
okay everything will be finished game over so now the number of rises are also decreasing energy is still not conserved okay energy is still not conserved but number of rises are also not conserved so this is grand canonical ensemble this one is grand canonical ensemble okay so now you understand what a system is what ensemble is okay and uh, how these systems are different from each other so let's talk about canonical ensemble a system we say that a system is defined by a collection of large number of particle as i told you a container filled with rice okay the whole container is a system it contain a large number of rice in it every rice single rice is a particle let's say so in your dish or in your container you have thousand of that particles okay so a canonical ensemble can be defined as now you understand what system is now move on toward a canonical ensemble so a canonical ensemble can be defined as a collection of microscopic identical particles okay these are microscopic identical particles which means that you have took a spoon of rice from that whole container all of these rices in your spoon will be identical to each other you will take one rice it will be identical to other but essentially system having constant but they are essentially independent okay you might have write but essentially independent independent system having constant number of particles volume and temperature but energy is not conserved volume is conserved temperature is conserved pressure is conserved but energy is not conserved okay so now you understand what ensemble is canonical ensemble is let's talk about its probability function by the boltzmann probability function we know that boltzmann statistics boltzmann distribution that uh, boltzmann function is given by p of i equals to c into e this is boltzmann factor into c this is a constant and this is probability function and we say this a probability function now the next thing we know is that sum of all the probabilities are equal to 1 we know that all sum of all probability are equal to 1 then we have put it the value this value of pi here instead of this pi we put its value from equation 1 and uh, we've calculated the value of c this term goes here in the denominator and uh, it was multiplying here it will divide on the right side and c will be equal to this factor putting this factor in equation 1 we will get our overall probability function so this is the probability function for the canonical ensemble now you can see a term in the denominator here okay the term in the denominator is called partition function and it is the most important function you can say this is the most important function this is the backbone of statistics you can say every statistic this is the backbone because because of this partition function you are going to find out all of their state functions all state functions can be found out by this partition function and this partition function is equal to this term here in canonical ensemble but when we will talk about the grand canonical ensemble there will be a little bit change and the partition function will change okay so in our next lecture we are going to find out the average energy by using this partition function then we will find out entropy and enthalpy and uh, cv what is heat capacity so which is heat capacity from this partition function so till my next lecture wait for my next lecture and till that thank you very much for your time till that assalamu alaikum